Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's episode. Now, okay is a word that you probably use quite regularly as an English speaker, if not all the time, right? So maybe you are wondering how to say okay in Luxembourgish. Well, then, in this episode, you will learn several ways uh, how to say OK and when to say it. I will also illustrate this with many examples. Bast du prat? Are you ready? Dann lass. We will start with the three simplest ways to say OK. The first one is very easy, is OK, but pronounce it OK. OK. Okay, so this is one of the most common words and you will find it everywhere. Just like in English, we also use this version of OK in Luxembourgish. It is widely used and doesn't sound foreign to Luxembourgers at all. OK? The second way uh, you can say OK is Andarai. You have probably heard this already. Andarai. Andarai usually means all right. Okay, all right. But you can also use it to say okay. Let's make a sentence. For example, as alles andarai bei dir. Ja, ja, a bei dir. As alles andarai means is everything all right or is everything okay and by dir with you. So, as alles andarai bei dir, and you can answer back by saying, ja, a bei dir. Mm -hmm. And then the last uh, easy way to say okay is just gut. Mm -hmm. Gut meaning good, mm -hmm. and you can show agreement. For example, someone is asking you, um, treffen wir eis dann mur um sechs Uhr? And you can answer back by saying, gut. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, okay, you can say, gut. I've begun with those three words, okay, andarai, good, because they are the most basic ones and are what you would use most of the time. But that's just the beginning. The ideal way of saying okay in Luxembourgish really depends on the context. That's why it matters what you say, because while some words may be used in a given situation, they may also be less appropriate in some instances. Let's say someone asks you to do something. For example, if you want to reply and say that you will do it, then you will say kloa or machenisch. You can also combine them kloa, machenisch. Kloa literally means clear, but here it is used in the sense of sure. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine that you have no time to go for a walk with the dog today and uh, you ask your partner to do this for you. Then you would say, Es schon haut kein Zeit für mein Hund spazieren zu gehen. Kannst du das für mich machen? So, kannst du das für mich machen means can you do that for me? And then if your partner... Um, Agrees, he would say, Kloa machenisch, meaning, sure, I will do that. Hmm? Kloa machenisch. Just learn it like this. Hmm? Kloa machenisch. Learn now six other ways to say okay. The first one. That passed good. It fits well. That passed good. 
Or you can say, that passt mir. That works for me. That passt mir. Zum Beispiel. Zum Beispiel means for example. Sollen wir eins a Freitag um Erdauer ob der Gar treffen? Ja, that passt mir. Hm? Yes, that works for me. Another example. Ich kann euch ein Rendezvous den 2. August um Erdauer proposieren. Passt das ihr? Ja, das passt mir ganz gut. Here we have a formal example. Passt das ihr? Does that work for you formal? And then you can answer back. Ja, das passt mir ganz gut. Another way to say okay is natürlich. Natürlich. Of course. Kannst du haut a Brot kaufen gehen? Natürlich. And then you can also use perfect and pronounce it perfect. Perfect. Huh? Perfect. Beispiel. Wir fangen mit neue neuen Projekt den 8. Dezember an. And you can reply back. Perfect. Or that is perfect. Another word you can use to show agreement is afastanen. <laughs> Let's repeat to practice the pronunciation. Afastanen. And more naturally, afastanen. So instead of saying, I agree, we just say, afastanen. Okay? Zum Beispiel, someone is asking you, wir machen das dann so, oder? So we will do that like this, all right? And if you want to say, I agree, you just say, afastanen. Or, ja, afastanen. Another word you can use is the French word d'accord. D'accord. So you will hear many native speakers using these words. Zum Beispiel, wir machen die Christfeier des Jahr an einem Restaurant. And then you can say d'accord. Hm? Wir machen die Christfeier des Jahr an einem Restaurant means um, we will do the Christmas party uh, in a restaurant this year. And if you agree, you say d'accord. Or you can also say afastanen. Hm? And then you can also use the small word ger or geren. Both are correct. Ger or geren, which means with pleasure. Zum Beispiel, kommt dir bei Eis Lunch für ein Aperitif zu trinken? And you can reply back, ger or ja, geren. Ich wiederhole, I repeat. Kommt dir bei Eis Lunch für ein Aperitif zu trinken? Ja, geren. Oh, ja, ger. And a last way to say okay is just by saying, ke problem. Ke problem, so no problem. Zum Beispiel, ein Student sieht mir hey, an, es tut mir leid, mir ich kann heute leider nicht an die Sprache kommen. And then I can reply back by saying, ke problem. So I will um, explain this sentence. A tit malint means I'm sorry. Me ich kann haut leider nicht an die Sprache kommen means unfortunately I can't come to the um, language course today. And then I reply back, ke problem. Good. So now you have learned many ways to say um, okay in Luxembourgish. Do, do you remember the three uh, simplest ways that were Okay, then we had Andarai and also Good. Okay, and the other six ways were that passed mir, natürlich, perfect, afverstanden, d'accord, ger or gern, an ke problem. And let's finish this episode by learning how to say I'm okay in Luxembourgish. That's very easy. So if someone asks you how you are doing, so they get it or they as it. They as it is more familiar, but it's the same like they get it. And you are feeling just okay. Then you have some possibilities to answer. You can say mir geht it or it geht Or alternatively, you can say, ich sin okay. I personally prefer to say just, it geht, it geht. 
So, that does alles für heute. So, that's all for today. Ich hoffe, du hast diesen Episode ganz interessant fand. I hope that you found this episode very interesting. Und wenn du mit mir lehren willst, kannst du meinen Kuren gucken auf meiner Webpage Luxemburgisch with Anne. So, and if you're interested in studying with me, just check out my courses on my Webpage Luxemburgisch with Anne. Ich so ein Merci an Adi. Bis nächste Woche.